The Chieki PS Remote App Tutorial has just become the most watched vid here on the channel with now over 18,000 views so a massive thanks to you amazing viewers for that, yeah! Yeah! Shut up, I'm talking! And of course, another way to stream our PS4 or 5 console to the incredible ROG Ally handheld is using the official PS Remote app from Sony themselves. With it being the official method for remote play by Sony, it does have quite a few advantages over Checky, such as it being more streamlined, more stable, and easy to set up but it also does have one pretty big disadvantage that we'll bump into later. But here are the six easy steps that you need to take in order to get set up with the official PS Remote Play app on the Ally. So let's dive straight in with step one. And before we do anything on the Ally, let's make sure that Remote Play is enabled on our PS5 console. To do this, go into settings, click on system, head into the remote play section, then make sure the remote play setting is toggled to on like this. By the way, if you're looking for a backlit TV kit like I have here, then I highly recommend the Light Me Fantasy 3 HDMI 2.1 kit that I covered recently on the channel. You can even set the lights to sync with the action on the TV which creates a whole new level of immersion and you get 5% off using the link in the description. Finally, let's put the PS5 into rest mode which you'll see why when remote play is up and running later. Next for step 2, let's grab our ROG Ally and download the official PS remote play app from the Sony website, link in the description. At around halfway down the page, you'll see the download button, click this, then the installation file will then download onto the Ally. For step three, we will install the Remote Play app. And to do this, let's head to the downloads folder, click on the file to load it up, complete any on-screen prompts, and then click OK to begin installation. Really simple stuff here, just select where you'd like to install the program to, which in my case is the C drive. The PS Remote Play app will automatically load up when installation has finished if you check this box right here. By the way, if you've learned something so far, then be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons right now, as it will massively help to spread this video to more people across YouTube. You guys rock. Bob? But my name's Billy. It doesn't matter what your name is! For step four, we will log in, click confirm and continue, select whether your console is a PS4 or PS5, then right here you should see that your PS5 console and your number will probably be different to mine, so don't worry about this. The first time I did this, it came up with this error message, so I just reloaded it and it worked fine the second time. Your PS5 should now fire up out of sleep mode and your Ally and PS5 console should now be connected. Now with a double-ended USB-C cable, simply connect one end to a DualSense controller and the other to the Ally. Finally, what we need to do is hit the full screen button in the bottom right corner of the screen and the PS Remote Play app will now switch to its full screen mode and you are now fully set up. Remember that pretty big disadvantage I mentioned at the beginning compared to Chiaki? Yeah, it's that your DualSense controller does have to be plugged in to the Ally at all times for you to control the app. Unfortunately, you can't use the Ally's onboard controls, the DualSense wirelessly without the cable, or even third-party apps like DS4 Windows, so the Ally recognizes the wireless DualSense controller. I guess Sony has to try and make you buy its upcoming and already much derided streaming-only Q-Lite handheld one way or the other, right? 
But even though in some ways it sucks that we have to connect the DualSense to the Ally to control it, on the bright side we do get to experience all of the full DualSense features like the immersive haptic feedback and dynamic adaptive triggers. For step 5, we will now add the PS Remote app to Armory Crate. To do this, let's head into the Armory Crate app, click Add, just scroll down till you find the app icon, check the box and click Done and voila, it's now ready to launch at any time within Armory Crate. And for the final step 6, let's choose our sound option. The default is to plug in our favourite earphones or headphones into the DualSense controller to hear our games using the awesome 3D audio. But if you prefer to use the Ally's inbuilt speakers, then click on the volume icon on the main Windows taskbar at the bottom, click the All Settings cog icon, head to System, then Sound, then simply select the Realtek audio speakers button and the sound will now come through the Ally speakers on the handheld. I'd love to hear what your first PS5 games that you will remote play to your Ally will be. Let us know below in the comments. And as a little extra bonus for watching right till the end of the video, I'd love to share a quote I came across today. Anxiety happens when you think you have to figure everything out all at once. Breathe, you're strong, you got this. Take it day by day. Life can get overwhelming and stressful when we try to figure everything out. But just relax and stay encouraged today, guys. And if you'd like to know the three key features that the ROG Ally 2, when that eventually comes out, must have, then check this video out right here. As always, I appreciate every single one of you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.